Hello again and welcome back to Dads and Lads Fishing Channel. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing you uh, what happened when I went from level 60 to level 63 on Fishing Planet. Now like a lot of people at the moment, uh, everybody's trying to get to Bolivia to do some fishing there. You need to get to level 63. So what I've done is uh, find out the fastest way to get there. Like in previous videos, what I've been doing is showing you how you can make the most cash and also how to make the most uh, XP. Uh, but the thing to remember is that the amount of XP that you earn depends not just on how many XP you earn in a day, but also how long it takes you to fill a net before you fast forward to the next day. So when I went from level 60 to 61, I did that all at Blue Crab Island. And here you can see this trip results for, this was five days. By five days, I mean fill in your net five times. So if we look at the results for the time I spent at Blue Crab Island, it was taking me about 45 minutes to fill a net. 45 minutes real time. The average cash per day was about 48,000 and XP per day 27,000. I then went on to California and I was fishing for sturgeon there and I used to do this a lot, I used to really enjoy it but it now feels really monotonous because it's the same thing over and over again you can catch lots of sturgeon, it takes you between 3 and 5 minutes to catch 3 fish and then you can fast forward the time to you just go 1 hour on and then you're fishing every 2 hours and eventually you fill your net. So these are the kind of results that you get for a day's fishing here. So this is in 40 minutes and you're getting something like 13,000, 13, 14,000 XP for those 40 minutes. Cash is is good, but XP is low. I then went to uh, Weeping Willows and just to compare what kind of XP I was getting here, and I've done a lot of fishing here, uh, you don't catch uniques all the time but when you do catch uniques, it gives you a lot of XP, as you know. The thing is with Weeping Willows that is that it's very unpredictable. I mean, you can catch a couple of uniques and then you'll catch a lot of small carp. And it can often take, on some days, it can take a long time. So, again, money here is very good as I've said in previous videos. But when you're looking at leveling up and you're trying to get XP, you need to be able to do it in the quickest time possible. So here at Weeping Willows, it was taking about 90 minutes to fill a net and 73,000 cash, and that equates to about 27,000 XP per day, which is about the same XP as Blue Crab Island, but it's taking you twice maybe twice as long to get it so what I did then after those two uh, trips I went back to BCI just because uh, I realized that 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 was how I was going to get to level 62 and then hopefully level 63 in the quickest time possible so if we look at the summary for XP per minute Blue Crab Island came in first at 449, California in second place at 348, and Weeping Willows 296. Now this isn't saying that somebody can't go to Weeping Willows and, and, and get as many XP per minute as I've done in Blue Crab Island. But it won't be every day. So um, let me just show you 
my spot again at BCI. It's this one down here towards the bottom. I've got the two marks out which is you which I use for my what I call my drum spot, red and black drum, and that's where I'm set up there just behind that little island down that channel. Here are my setups. I've got four rods here. Uh, the first one is the one that I put on the drum spot, which is Heavy Chaser, Leviathan, 0 to 89 braid, weight, the um, fluorocarbon leader, a 7 or hook, and the large cut bit. Now, the 7 or hook. You can go to an 8 as well, just so you're targeting the big fish rather than the flounder and the gallop's tail uh, catfish that you get there. This is the second rod, which is the same as the third rod as well. Uh, this is a bottom setup, but what you'll see here, it's got shiner on it, and I'm using a mono leader of 2 meters. This is important because uh, it means that you can catch fish uh, throughout the water column from the bottom to the top and that'll include your snook, your uh, tarpon and anything else that's hanging around. The third rod's the same. And the fourth rod is a float rod, which usually takes permit and tap on. These have got six or hooks on. So, because you've got four, three different setups there, it means that you can target different fish and you're catching a selection so if the tarpon aren't biting you might be catching more drum but it all means that you're filling your net in a short amount of time and it can be quite mental sometimes when you've got sometimes you have four rods going off all at the same time but you can switch between them and you find the fish that you think is the biggest and stick with that one so um You can see it just there on the on the left hand side. You got the two markers out there. You've seen this on a previous video as well, uh, where I just cast out. That's about thirty three meters uh, to those spots, uh, and I use either shrimp or large cut bait to to catch the drum there. You will pick up other fish, but that's why I say I use a bigger hook there. And you, uh, what you're doing is targeting the unique red drum, and the um, unique black drum which you can get a good fight off as well and by getting these uniques you can see there it really bumps up the XP you're getting for each day of fishing and this is the unique red drum which you'll get from that same spot as well now all the rods here, I only fish close in. This means when you hook a fish, then usually what will happen is that you get it out of the water quite quickly. Even if it's a big fish like a unique tarpon sometimes. Uh, not like this one, this one really gave me the run around. Um, but other ones, you can lift them straight out of the water. I should also mention that Every day of fishing here, I'm fishing at peak times. So the most productive one I found is this one you can see in day one, where I fish from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. and then I fast forward to 8 p.m. until 9 p.m. and then again I fish at midnight for an hour and usually by that time I've got my 400 kilos. Here are some examples of the results of some days fishing you're getting somewhere up into the high 40s high 40,000s 
uh, for uh, cash each day and XP anywhere from 20,000 to 30,000 and even a bad day is 18,000 so I fished all the way through from 62 to 63 uh, catching lots of fish uh, that final level is uh, I think something like 220,000 XP so you need to be catching something like uh, for almost 5,000 kilos of fish uh, this was the last one that I got it was nice the unique black drum and it was that fish that took me to level 63 giving me access to the Maron River in Bolivia and what else have I got there freshwater crab and some other goodies a nice new rod and reel if I want it so I might just do that all right I uh, hope that's been useful and um, hopefully it will take a bit of the pain out of grinding and uh, let's move on now to Bolivia and see what that's all about okay I'll see you next time